Greetings everybody from MDX Sport and the Fitness Pod. Uh, we at MDX Sport have had uh, a few ideas as to trying to keep our members active and keeping them moving through this tough time. And with that we wanted to do some home exercise videos and things that you can access online in the safety of your homes and to keep yourselves moving. So the first instalment is what we is what we're going to be doing today and that is uh, back exercises to help improve your posture. So the first exercise is a cat cow pose and happen to have a cat walking past and um, so I will show you guys what to do and then we'll go on from there. So hands underneath your elbows and your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips then what you're going to do is you're going to push your belly button down and then pull all the way back in. So as you're inhaling, you're pulling all the way in. As you exhale, you're letting your belly sink down to the ground and try and touch the floor. And then in. And we're doing 10 reps. Okay, so that is exercise number one and the aim of the game is to keep your head up and straight. You don't want to tuck your head in and it's not about arching your back, it's all about your breathing. So as I said, that is exercise number one. Okay, so exercise number two and three are very similar. So exercise number two is standing T-pose. So this is all about trying to keep your shoulders um, strong and keeping them in line. So you can do them with your hands to start off with and as you start to get better, you can use some dumbbells. Okay, so first off, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so you will be standing with your knees slightly bent, hips bent, leaning over, and you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades back, and then you also want to take them down as if you're trying to draw them into a pocket that's in your back. Okay, so you pull back, down, and then you want to turn your hands up so your thumbs are pointing towards the ceiling. Then you're driving your hands out and making a T shape with your upper body. Okay, so that is exercise number two. And then exercise number three is very similar to that, but now we're going to make a Y with our body instead. So same position, so feet flat on the ground, knees slightly bent, hips bent, then you're going to lean forward, and then you're going to make a Y with your elbows and keep your, your thumbs pointing up. Okay, so through all of those exercises, you want to make sure that your core is engaged and your back stays neutral. Your head also stays in a neutral position, so we're not trying to force our head back. And that is exercise number two and three. All right, guys, exercise number four. Um, we've got a friend who's decided to join us now. Um, she's realised we're doing uh, poses that have her name in it, so we've got a little friend. Um, so the next exercise is what we call a seated row with a band. Um, I can understand that some of you guys might not have a band at home, um, but there are other things you can use. You can use towels and things like that as well. Okay? Um, and so, with that, you are going to be sitting nice and upright, back nice and straight. Same kind of thing that we did with the T and the Y pose. You want to get your shoulder blades back and down, and then you're going to pull as if you're pulling all the way in. Squeeze, hold, one, two, three, four, five and then back nice and slowly. So we're not trying to rock our body, 
It's all about using your back for this movement. So we're not trying to use our hips or anything. Okay, so pull all the way back and then slowly release. Okay, pull all the way back, hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly release. Okay. Okay, and that is a seated banded row. And same again, the aim of the game with that is to keep your back um, nice and straight and focus on pulling those shoulder blades back and down. Okay, thank you. All right guys, so this is exercise number five. And this is what we call a wall angel. You can also adapt this to do on the floor as well. You don't have any wall space. I've actually taken one of my um, pictures down and doing it on the wall here. So. What you need to do is be up against the wall, back nice and flat, and then you want to bend at the hips and the knees, so you bring yourself nice and low down on the floor, and make sure your lower back is flat on the wall. Elbows and hands up against the wall, then you're going to push up, keeping your hands as close to the wall as possible, and then back down. For me, my shoulders aren't that great, so this is a big, really big ask for me. For those of you that might have really good shoulder flexion and shoulder uh, flexibility, might be able to get all the way up with keeping your hands up against the wall. But the aim is to keep your hands and your elbows and everything connected to the wall. Okay? That's exercise number five. Alright guys, this is exercise number six. Um, so six and seven are all down on the ground. Um, so this one, number six, is uh, alternate Superman. So we'll be lying flat on the ground and we'll be doing a superman position. So I'll talk you through it first and then I'll go down to the ground. Okay, so you'll lie flat on the ground with your stomach on the ground. Keep your core engaged and then you're going to be doing alternate arm, alternate leg, lifting off the floor and holding it for five seconds. Okay. Okay, so the aim is to get yourself at least 15 centimeters off the floor. I know that can be a bit like a big ass for some people, but just work through it and do as far as you can. So we're not trying to really arch your back. It's all about toning and keeping the contraction in your back. Okay, as, as I said before, keep that core engaged and keep that belly nice and tight. So that is exercise number six. Exercise number seven is a high plank. And so we will be going down into a plank position. A lot of you guys know a plank position already. Sorry, I'm getting out of breath. Um, so I'm going to show you a high plank now. Instead of going on your elbows, you're going onto your forearms. Sorry, onto your hands. Okay. So you want your hands underneath your elbows, just like we did with the cat-cow pose. And then you're going to go into a plank position. So take your feet out. And I want to keep your back nice and straight. So we don't want any of this. We don't want any of this. Nice flat position all the way down. And you're going to hold it 15 seconds. Okay, so that is a high plank. It is a little bit more difficult than a normal plank that you would do on your elbows. So realize that that is a little bit more difficult. If you do have some issues with your wrists or anything like that, then stick with the one on your elbows and focus on keeping your core engaged. All right, guys, so that is all seven exercises. And if you have any ideas of workouts or what you would like to see us do, please post on our Facebook page 
or on our Instagram page and we will then deliver those for you. Again, thank you so much and I hope you guys stay safe and stay active. Thanks.